B-E-T-T-E-R-C-H-O-I-C-E, -E, the $93 million that American Pickers star Mike Wolf, the revitalization of Tennessee continues, as new companies are opening in a little hamlet near Columbia. A-M-E-E-R-I-C-N Pickers star Mike Wolf's Tennessee Town Remodeling Project, which cost $93 million, has progressed with the opening of new companies in the community. The History Channel personality made a purchase in Columbia, Tennessee, in the previous year, which included a restaurant, a coffee shop, and other buildings, with the intention of assisting in the revitalization of the quiet town. The United States Sun published an article in January stating that Mike, who is 60 years old, has acquired seven commercial properties in the mule capital of the world. Nearly $100 million was invested in the project by the American Pickers star in an attempt to attract both commerce and tourists to the little town, which is located just 46 miles away from Nashville. It will cost $93 million to complete the project. According to a source who said to the United States Sun, the town is happy that Mike is taking this on to help bring new life to Columbia. New enterprises have started to emerge in the vicinity of the Tennessee town, which indicates that Mike's investment is beginning to have positive results. Prim and Pint, Butchery and Public House is a restaurant and butcher shop that is relatively new to the neighborhood. It is located right next to an old SO service station that is owned by Mike. The structure is made of brick and painted a light gray color. It has huge windows that traverse its broad face and lights that are installed above them are in the manner of antiques. A dining hall or a street market would be a good analogy for the restaurant's interior, which is designed with an open floor plan. On Saturday, March 30, the public house opened its doors to patrons. The restaurant's Facebook page referred to the CAF as Reviving Culinary Heritage. The public house is situated at 105 East 6th Street, at Prime and Pint, we intertwine the timeless craft of butchery with the spirited ambience of a community-centered public house and scratch kitchen dining experience, according to the description provided. You may choose from a variety of specialty dishes on the menu, including chicken cordon bleu, mushroom bolognese, and tuna au pur. Ribeye, New York Strip, and tomahawk steaks are all available for clients to order off the grill or from the butcher whenever they want. In an invitation that was shared on social media, it was said, we are now welcome. We have everything you need, whether you are searching for menus for lunch or supper or meat to grill. Please stop by and take advantage of our butchery and scratch kitchen. We're prepared to welcome you. See you in a moment. By the beginning of the next month, Residents of Columbia will have the opportunity to take part in a whole new donut eating experience. Build a Donut Bakery, often known as BAD Bakery, is going to open on June 15 and is aiming to revolutionize the way people enjoy donuts there. We don't just serve donuts, we empower you to build your own delectable creations, as is written on the website of the establishment, which can be found at 106 E 7th Street. Founded in 2023, we're a fresh and innovative addition to the culinary scene in our charming town. The construction of condominiums is already underway across the street from Mike's store, Columbia Motor Alley. These condominiums promise to provide a place of residence for new inhabitants to coincide with the opening of all the new companies. The United States Sun was informed by a source that they are building a six-story condo with a restaurant. A parking lot is scheduled to be located just next to it. The town is changing rapidly. The shift is something that some members of the community are excited about, while others in the community are opposed to it. It's kind of interesting because a lot of people don't want change and some people do, so we're in that flux, a local source said of Mike Wolf bringing business to Columbia. We're in that flux. Among the commercial properties that Mike has lately acquired, one of them is a 4,320-square-foot property that is valued at $214,100, as stated in the property records. The company's business description states, 
boutique music systems for hospitality and home. This particular firm is leased to Hazelwood Laboratories. Additionally, Mike became the owner of a property that is now occupied by Mule Town Coffee and has a total area of 2,900 square feet and has a value of $192,700. This is yet another business property that has a total area of 4,653 square feet and is valued at $336,300. The room is rented out to the drama theater known as Packard Playhouse. Additionally, Mike is the owner of a business property with a value of $464,400 that is leased out to Trek Bicycle Guest Store House Columbia. is the name of the apartment that Mike leases out on the upper level of the building, which has a total area of 6,279 square feet. According to an earlier article by the United States Sun, the American Pickers star charges a nightly rate of $275 starting on Friday and continuing through Sunday and $200 for Monday through Thursday. The price goes up to $425 a night during the holiday season, which includes holidays such as Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's. In addition to a bathroom, a kitchen, a washing and dryer, the lodging unit has one bedroom with a king-sized bed a sofa that can be converted into a queen-sized bed, and a bathroom. The room is crammed with antiques that Mike has selected himself. The following is an excerpt from the website's description of the rental property. This is the first time that fans of American Pickers get to see pics from the show that Mike has pulled out of barns and sheds across the United States for the purpose of presenting them as decor. The whole loft, which has one bedroom, is situated above a bicycle store inside a brick structure that is two stories tall and dates back to the year 1857. Mike found that the loft, which is around 1,100 square feet in size, was the ideal space for him to exhibit his one-of-a-kind, Americana-inspired style perfectly. In order to create a unified appearance, Mike has included artifacts from a variety of time periods and locations which will be appreciated by the guests. The inclusion of natural objects, such as sculptures of bison antlers, works well with the industrial rusty picks that are used. The hand-painted wooden sign that is located outside the bedroom and reads Rooms for Tourists or the double-sided turquoise City Cafe sign that was picked in Alabama and is now hanging over the kitchen island are examples of vintage signs that have been placed on purpose in order to delineate and organize spaces. In reference to the available space on the website, Mike said, there is a great deal to see and experience here. To give guests the opportunity to experience the allure of staying on Main Street in a small town, I wanted to design a place that gives them that opportunity. Taking a peek out the 13-foot windows of the courthouse that was built in 1905 and listening to the clock that is located in the tower on top of it chime every hour is one of my favorite things to do. You can walk downstairs into the street and see the shopkeepers preparing to open for the day. You can even smell the biscuits and bacon puckets is cooking up for breakfast. During the month of November in 2017, Mike paid a total of $400,000 for the old Chevrolet dealership Columbia Motor Alley, which was constructed in 1948. A gigantic 13,440 square feet of space is included inside the structure, which is estimated to be worth $717,400. According to a source close to Mike, who spoke to the United States Sun in the past, it was a building that was used for car restoration before Mike Wolf purchased it. He has workers in the garage part who are responsible for repairing bicycles and other items. Mike is displaying his automobiles and motorbikes at this location. During the course of the event, he brings home antiques, automobiles, motorcycles, and bicycles. In addition to a retail shop, the business has two antique petrol pumps that are located outdoors. A black Ford Model A, a red Porsche, and a beige 1934 Ford Coupe are among the historic automobiles and motorbikes that are on display. 
These vehicles are part of Mike's personal collection of vintage automobiles and motorcycles. Additionally, Mike is the host of Columbia, Coffee, and Cars throughout the months of spring, summer, and springtime. The United States Sun was informed by a second source that fans may anticipate seeing Mike at the garage during business hours, which are every Friday and Saturday from 10 in the morning until 5 in the afternoon. It was reported by the insider that Mike makes an effort to visit Columbia Motor Alley whenever it is open. He makes it a point to see each and every person that comes to visit. According to the records of the property, Mike additionally spent $600,000 for a 976-square-foot property that had previously been utilized as an SO service station on September 15, 2022. As the external construction of the building has been finished, the United States Sun has earlier claimed that the location would be a restaurant. There is a wooden pergola in front of the restaurant, and lights are hanging from the beams of the pergola. As an alternative to concrete, there are gray pavers placed under the pergola. In addition, the area around the fire pit is equipped with pavers, and there is a brick seat available for those who choose to sit around the fire. Pavers that are raised will serve as a stage for karaoke and other performances, and they will be located directly across from the brick fire pit.